Join us now for remarkable stories of partnerships across Africa. Building the future and changing lives. It's Africa's turn. Africa's potential is the story of the moment and it's going to be for years to come. But all eyes are on agriculture and agribusiness to leverage the continent and its people to a whole new level. So what should global companies with a footprint in Africa do to ensure sustainable and profitable yields for farmers? We're going to go from Abidjan right here into Ivory Coast and into Burkina Faso to find out. Ivory Coast produces 40% of the world's cocoa. Most of it's grown by small-scale farmers whose beans are taken to Abidjan and then exported via the city's bustling port to chocolate producers around the world. We're going to follow the beans back to their source, traveling northwest from Abidjan to Ganwa to meet a cocoa farmer and see how Arista Life Science, a global yield enhancement and crop protection agribusiness, is engaging with farmers on safety and sustainable production. Je suis Beibro Luku Alfred. Je suis ici avec euh, mon épouse. J'ai six enfants, trois garçons, trois filles, trois qui vont à l'école et trois autres qui sont encore petits, qui n'ont pas encore l'âge d'aller à l'école. Bon, j'ai commencé ma parcelle de cacao depuis 1988, quand j'ai quitté l'école. J'ai deux hectares et demi sur lequel j'ai fait euh, des, des anciens pieds de cacao. Maintenant, les insectes aussi, si on ne les traite pas, on, on va perdre au moins 40 à 50 de notre production. Donc, on ne, si on ne les traite pas de produits phyto, nous sommes perdus. Bon, euh, Aujourd'hui, nous avons la présence euh, dans la cacaoyère, la, la présence des myrides, les fourreurs, de, les boueurs et les punaises vêtes qui nous fatiguent pendant certaines périodes. Donc actuellement, euh, nous avons un programme avec euh, nos partenaires qui viennent nous donner, nous apporter des, des produits Arista's technical advisor Alicia Lengro and I joined Bahibro and his helper, who were checking cocoa pods for diseases. They look if there is some black pod disease on the field, and you see there is some, so oh. they will make the treatment with fungicide. You know, it's so interesting that these are farmers. You, they're, they're small-scale farmers. There's no insurance, there's no crop insurance for this. So if you have this kind of disease, it's down to the wire because it means that you can't feed your family. You know, it's make or break. My name's John Street. I'm head of global stewardship and regulatory compliance for Arista Life Science. The company's been present in this region for many, many years, and we've established businesses um, in Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso that have been very successful. And since we started here, we've had a very close engagement with the farmer. Arista's business model is a little bit different to that of conventional companies operating in this business area. We like to really understand the grower's needs and get close to the farmer and understand what his problems are and then we try and find a solution based on uh, the products we have in our portfolio, which may be conventional products or they may be biosolutions. Our products are thoroughly tested to ensure that they can be used safely in these uh, environments. We develop labels that are targeted at meeting the specific uh, grower needs uh, and we provide safety instructions for their use which will enable him to treat all of the pests and diseases uh, that he has uh, but most importantly to improve the efficiency uh, of, of production for him and that leads to a better income for the grower in the longer term. My name is Jessica Antista. I'm the regional program manager for TechnoServe's work uh, in West Africa cocoa. There's about 800,000 cocoa farmers in Cote d'Ivoire. Our goal is to help those farmers make more money. 
while there's increasing demand all over the world for chocolate, and especially specialty chocolate, developing countries like China, where chocolate used to be a, a luxury product, but now more and more people can afford it. Countries like uh, in Europe and in the US, where higher percentage uh, cocoa chocolate is, is more in demand. Um, there's a great market opportunity, but a lot of that money is not getting back to the farmers themselves. So there's potential, there's huge potential. But if farmers are expanding their yield, what does it really mean? We know they can be earning more money. On average, Ivoirian cocoa farmers are only producing about 400 kilograms per hectare from their cocoa farms. But we know that up to two tons is possible. So in theory, they could increase their yields and increase their earnings 500%. Uh, One of the big reasons is that traditionally, cocoa farmers have not used crop protection products. And so when they grow their cocoa, they may lose up to 80%. Uh, due to pests and diseases. Technoserve and Arista have been working together now. This is our fifth year in Cote d'Ivoire, um, working to help cocoa farmers get access to crop protection products. So one of the things that we've worked with Arista on is making sure that farmers are properly trained. And we did a study from farmers who had been in the program for the first four years. And what we found was that within two years, the average farmer that participated in the program was able to increase their yields by 50%. Crop protection uh, stewardship is really about taking responsible care. So it's not just about selling products, it's about making sure that they're manufactured, stored and used safely. It really starts with research where we uh, investigate the properties of the um, products uh, and we conduct preliminary risk assessments. And this carries all the way through manufacturing, storage, uh, into the field, uh, and then eventually through container management and disposal. Stewardship is about using products safely to get the maximum benefit out of them without damaging human health or the environment in the process. But that really isn't enough. We go beyond that to actually uh, train the farmer how to use them uh, in the best way possible. But it's not only about wearing protective clothing. Stewardship is also about training farmers how to read labels and use the correct spraying techniques, nozzles and calibration so they don't overspray and overspend, getting the maximum benefit from the product and ensuring the sustainability of their land. In Arista, we believe in doing business in a sustainable way. We believe in establishing good partnerships between ourselves and growers and grower groups in order that both parties benefit in the longer term. And we find that uh, we have new customers coming to us for help and advice, and that enables them to reap the benefit of the programs that we're, we're currently uh, uh, promoting in the region. In my experience, these uh, training programs in, in, enhance the farmer's knowledge of, of Arista and they respond very, very positively. So it's not just about selling products today, it's about building a relationship with our customers so that they will continue to buy from us in the future. And the best way of doing that is making sure that we're delivering tangible benefits for them that improve the quality of their life. Bon, it's important for the life of the applicator himself. Donc si tu n'as pas de protection, tu t'exposes à ces matières actives. Là. Donc c'est pour cela qu'il faut porter tout l'arsenal de traitement. Souvent les enfants ont peur quand ils te voient, ils te prennent pour un masque. Donc, mais avec le temps, ils sont habitués, papa vient, c'est papa, bon ok, et puis ça passe. Most people, it's funny, they, they don't think when they bite into a chocolate bar what the journey has been um, to get that cocoa bean from, from a farm somewhere in a remote West Africa um, into a final product that they're, that they're consuming. It's one of many um, industries in Africa where there's, there's a relatively small amount of the value getting back to the farmers themselves um, that are growing the product and that's one thing that we're working to change. We're working so that the farmers themselves are capturing more of that value in their pocket so that 
they can send their children to school and make better lives for themselves. So if I have enough money to take care of my children, to build a house for me, to buy a car, to walk like everyone, it makes me happy. So if there is a good quality of cacao and if si my production increases, Cela permettra de suivre mes enfants à l'école pour que demain, si je suis âgé et que je ne peux plus travailler, ces enfants qui sont allés à l'école, s'ils ont abouti à, à, des, à un travail, puissent s'occuper de moi en retour. It's been fascinating exploring the cocoa industry through the eyes of farmers and Arista's trainers to feel how stewardship can really make a difference to the lives of farmers. And now we're on our way to the airport in Abidjan to fly to Bobo Diou Lasso and continue our journey in Burkina Faso.